Hey guys, uh, it's Kelsey. How are y'all doing today? I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you my transformation story. Um, currently, I'm sitting in front of uh, Bucky's over here um, in Wharton on my way home to Corpus. But this is just really sitting on my mind and I just want to share this with you. I would film it on my camera, but for some reason the lens is not... Uh, attaching properly which is really frustrating but I want to share with you um, my story of how I got to where I am today um, in my health and fitness journey. So I've always been pretty active um, as a kid. I did gymnastics, I did track and field, I did powerlifting um, and when I got into college I was terrified of getting the freshman 15 so I actually competed in my first uh, figure competition um, in my first year. Um, I got third place out of three but that's okay. I learned from that experience and I learned that I needed to have somebody to hold me accountable during that process because I didn't know what to do besides for the questions I had of what to eat. I didn't understand the importance of it or the cardio or anything of that sort. And so what I did is I, I kind of ran my body into the ground and then once I got post-show, I just ate everything and I didn't know how, how to go back to normal. After that, I was able to kind of find a balance between schoolwork and uh, my health and fitness, I, I went to the gym all four years and was able to maintain that. Um, once I got out of college, I worked three jobs until I was able to find my first uh, big kid job, making a salary um, income um, at a, uh, a university. And that was one of the most exciting things uh, for me. So once I got there, I was so excited. I was so pumped and I was just ready to start my job and I started working there. Um, but something that I realized as I com devoted more and more time to my um, job is that I was devoting less time to taking care of me, which was f not facilitating the best self-care for myself. So I wasn't able to give to my, my students or my clients even better because I felt more and more miserable about myself. I was uncomfortable in my own body. I felt powerless. I felt, um, I felt unworthy. And I'm tearing up about this right now because... Because I wasn't happy with how I looked. I wasn't happy with my ability to do things. I wasn't happy with the direction that my life was going. And it frustrated me so, so much. And so um, in an effort to try to um, improve upon that, I reached out to a couple of people and seeked out a coach. And I didn't find one that worked for me at that time. And once it came to realize that I needed to make a drastic change in my life and my husband's life as well. And so we just prepared and we just picked up and moved and moved across the country um, to a completely different city to somewhere that was more conducive to lifestyle. And we had nothing. We had nothing. We had no money. We just scraped and pulled and sold everything we could. We moved out of our house and we lived in an RV and we still live in an RV. And I just remember, okay, we made this move. I can make this change in my life. And it did not happen. And I was still frustrated. I was still miserable with everything that was going on in my life. I was uncomfortable. And I was not making the change that I wanted emotionally, mentally, and physically. And I just remember going, okay, I made this drastic change. I need to do something else different. And then it came to that point that I realized I needed to have help out ex externally from what I needed to do. And that's when I actually reached out to... Um, another coach to help me prepare for another figure competition and that was one of the best decisions I had because she she guided me through that process and I was able to get some more guidelines and things that I wanted now post show I did not have as much guidance and I realized that that was not a good idea and I needed to have a plan I need somebody to hold me accountable and so a post show um, after I competed again and this is twice by the way I, I hired a um, a, a powerlifting coach because I needed something to take myself off my the mental focus after doing a competition I was so mentally focused on how I looked it was negative and so it was creating this vicious cycle of self-hatred and I just I hated myself I hated how I, I was living I hated everything and I did not want to live that way because I was so freaking miserable and so through this coach I've, I've been able to increase my mental awareness of how to take care of myself I had somebody to hold me accountable to going to the gym and improving myself mentally physically and emotionally and they've been able to help me through that now it required me going to to go get some doctors and realizing there were some issues that um, were beyond his scope of practice that I needed to address but through having a coach and realizing that I didn't have to live that way anymore was how I got out of this 
And I just want you to realize that you can change and you can accomplish anything you want. You don't have to sit in those negative, uncomfortable emotions. It's okay to be uncomfortable if you need to spur change, but it's not okay to stay in that spot and continue to live in that vicious cycle without working to improve upon it. You can get better. And now I'm able to, I have a, I have a different job and I, I love what I do and I, I love myself and I love the path that I'm going on. I'm able to maintain the physique that I have. I'm able to go out to eat with my friends and family and not be stressed out about it. Um, I've, I'm able to prepare to help with my family. I watch so many of my family members pass because they made poor health decisions and never acted upon them. And I didn't want that for myself or the people around me. So I've worked really hard to make sure I prepare myself for that stage in life when I enter retirement that I'm not stuck in a chair or that I can't walk unless there's, unless some, by some act of higher power that that changes and that's fine. But it's not because I made poor choices and I didn't take care of myself. So I want you to think about you. How do you want to transform? How do you want to realign your life to fit the goals that you want to have? Do you want to be able to get into retirement and do what you want to do to travel and go seek places because you're able to walk and eat those things and go to restaurants and enjoy your life? Or do you want to be able to have that career and take care of yourself and have the best of both worlds and not feel that self-punishment for not... Uh, for not taking care of yourself, but still wanting to invest in your, your career and your livelihood and those passions. So I challenge you to think about it, see how you can realign to make it happen. And please don't hesitate to contact me if I can help you. I love you all. I'll talk to you guys soon.